On today's little foodie adventure, we made pistachio pesto pasta. And let me tell you guys, it is so fresh and so easy and it was super quick. This is a finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Whoa guys that is super bright you immediately taste the freshness from that pesto and then that creaminess that we got from the parmesan cheese and the avocado it is like a bright summer day in your mouth like seriously guys mm. and then you get then you get those little pops of pea and everything just working so great together and you get that undernote of citrus from the lemon. Mm. This was such a fun and quick meal to make. Go ahead, watch the video, try it at home, and I hope you enjoy. Bye, guys. Hi, y'all. So it's time for some pistachio pesto pasta. I've got my prep out in front of me. It's a recipe I've never made before. So I found bits and pieces of it from different recipes online, and then I added my own little twist to it. And now I'm going to put it all together and we're going to see what comes out. <laughs> so this is the prep. We're going to pull out the processor and get going on the pesto. Okay, y'all, it's pesto making time. You want to start with two cups of fresh basil. I just de-stemmed it and you want to put it right in the processor. So we've got our two cups of basil in our food processor. You want to do a whole cup of pistachios. You could substitute pistachios for cashews as well. So you want to do two tablespoons of minced garlic. And you want to do one avocado. Story time. So I don't know if I actually like avocado. I have tried avocado over and over again but in guacamole every time and I've come to the conclusion that I do not like guacamole except for one. There's this restaurant where I live called Casa Mexico, shout out. Um, and it's the only place that I've ever tried the guacamole because I try it everywhere I go just to see if I'll, you know, eventually like it. And I love their guacamole. Love it. Could eat it by the bowlful. But I've never actually tried just avocado on its own, so I don't know if it's the guacamole I don't like or if it's the avocado. So that's my story, but I'm giving them another try in something else. And while our pesto, while we're making our pesto, I also have our pasta on to boil and we are using red lentil pasta to get a little extra boost of protein and lower carbs. So since I'm maybe not a fan of avocado, I'm not going to say I'm not yet, I've never actually done the cool little cut and whack trick, so let's do that now. Okay, so you just cut it around the middle, apparently. Okay, you pull the halves apart, and then you take your knife and you whack the seed. And it's supposed to pull right out. Oh my goodness, the internet did not lie. That was amazing. Okay, so for our avocado, we're just going to get it out of the peel and then get it into our processor. After you've got your avocado in there, you want to do the juice of one lemon. Okay, so after you get the lemon juice in there, you want to do three tablespoons of olive oil. And from your pasta, you want to save a cup of the water. That's going to be to thin it out a little later if you need to. And then I'm also going to do a splash of this basil oil that I had left over from my HelloFresh video. Not a lot, because that stuff is super strong. That's a totally optional thing, I just happened to have it, thought it'd be good to throw it in. And then you also want to do salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to do a little now and then blend it up and if I need more I'll add more. And then of course I'm going to do a sprinkle of our nutritional yeast and a little sprinkle of our flax seed. Now we're going to blend it up until it's smooth. Okay, so we've blended up our pesto. This is what it looks like. It is so fragrant, guys. It smells like a fresh garden. It's crazy. I've been giving it little taste to check the salt levels. Wow. 
That is the freshest thing I've eaten since the salad. Like, hmm. So fresh. So all we are doing is waiting on our pasta to finish cooking so that we can bring this recipe together. I'll be back when that's ready to go, guys. Okay, so it's now time to combine all, all, all of our ingredients. I've got our cooked pasta and our cup of peas in there. Going to get that on a medium heat. And you want to add in your pesto. Okay, and our pesto is a little thick, so we are going to add a little bit of our pasta water. Just a little at a time until it comes to the consistency that we want. Once you've got your sauce to the consistency that you want, you're going to add in a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. And that is our finished product, guys. It is so creamy and yummy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. For almonds, or not almonds, no. i show you guys my audience for today. Just around, there we go. This is how I have to film, and she's my little audience member today. Say hi, Lizzie. <laughs>